Well, w w without that aspect, um, there, c there can be no collaboration. You have to, um, you have to leave a bit of yourself behind uh, if you want to really do a collaboration well, because um, ego is something that you can use creatively, but selectively. It's not something that you you must parade. And it's the, the pulling back a little bit in order to give the space to someone else mm. to be able to say their thing. Um, and, you know, me being just, you know, having verbal diarrhea, that's not bad, really. Uh, but th that, that idea that you, you keep yourself in check a bit um, to allow space for, for, uh, for the collaboration to happen. Because the collaboration is like another person, isn't it, uh, in the room. You mean um, there's what? So there's the two of you, and then there's a. Third. And there's this thing, and it's this thing that you're trying trying to nurture, and and certainly, from my point of view personally, it's always been the work that's important. Um, I always find myself less important than the work that I'm doing. It's the work that always comes first, and that's the way that you. That's the way that I get uh, quality, uh, objectivity uh, into it is by subtracting myself mm. from it. Obviously, I'm, I'm there feeding it, but, but only by taking myself out of it does the work benefit. So. I don't find myself very important. I'm, I'm not, I don't have a sense of my own importance. Uh, I don't have a, uh, a sense of me being the, of more important than the thing that I'm working on. The work's the, the thing. The work's always the What, what, what's the most important thing in a collaboration like the two of you are embarking on? It's being able to communicate effectively and that when we are saying something or trying to improve on something or making a comment, see where it's going to end up. And I've had ideas or had thoughts and I would say that say it to Joel and say, okay, we could do this, but it would immediately let me know the end result of what could happen after that. So basically, if I have a little spark and try to develop it, like he'll let me know realistically because he's got more experience about the field in which we're working on. Like he can let me know realistically how it's gonna come into effect and whether it will come into effect. So that allows me to know where I am where I've come from and where I'm trying to aim. So having someone to do that for me or to remind me of that allows me to keep moving forward otherwise I'll just be going around and around in circles. Mm -hmm. So I think Joe gives me that direction in terms of what I'm trying to achieve and it's not just what I'm trying to achieve, what we're both trying to achieve because we're both pursuing this idea in the same way. We have to both have the same vision and we do have the same vision, that's what we're trying to embark on. And should the vision probably, should it sidetrack? Like there could be reasons why I sidetrack, maybe you think of something else totally that you've not thought of. Like when you think something totally, that it's not, it might not be relevant, you might think it's relevant, but sometimes, for example, today when we spoke of the different ways of on, the device. Turning uh, the device on. Yeah. I was thinking just one, one way, but then Joe allowed me to expand my thoughts and think I can have multiple ways. Mm. But but in the same way, mm. it's when you suggest. Thanks, <laughs> Microsoft. Go on. When you suggest. Um, maybe a different way to use it or a different way to interact with it because you run your understanding of how people will respond to the device i'm much more keen to take the lead from you about that because while i'm good with the technical aspects of it and understand how it can function and the practicalities of it really what happens when you introduce it into the environment where people are using the thing i think that you have some some great ideas for that because you you have just a feel for how people will respond to these things and, and that's, that's uh, a characteristic that I'm not so, uh, so good at, so, yeah, so it's nice. See, in essence, like, we, like, my strengths, you can work on my, like, you can gain from my strength and I can gain from his. 
So what are your strengths? What are you bringing to this project that Joel isn't? Partly what you said just now, and in terms of the fact that although anybody else can just do that as well, like have take it, have a feel about what this project is about, and like say say their own perspective or speak on behalf of a little community. I know we can do that, but because uh, I've got great passion for the project itself, and like. I believe that my contribution, my, my feel will be of, of a deeper meaning, to, it will be more attached to the project itself than to somebody else who just wants to benefit from having this device, it would help them, it would help well, the but, community. But the, the supplying of passion for the project, because obviously I tend to, to look much more at what the problems might be. Mm. And well, so why, why do you look more at the problems? Well, because I know the problems that are coming and all the hurdles that will be there. And the the, the the time it takes to do everything. I, I know because of all the other projects that I've done and all the other intellectual property that I've been through that, that there's so much grind which can just just eat away at your resolve. Um, and I think what, what a lot of inventors um, find difficult is just keep going. Because often persistence is a thing that succeeds more than technology, more than all sorts of other things. Just dumb persistence is very effective as a tool getting things done. And uh, Kunle has yet to, to go through that process of the endless reversals that you have with a lot of these projects. Um, you know, the, the discovery that your pattern is not valid, or that it doesn't get granted, or the, the idea that you've slaved over for years is not original, or that you can't get the funding, or that even if you manufacture it, you can't sell it. All these, I've done all of these things. But the fact that he's coming at it fresh means that whenever I feel myself becoming a little bit tight because I know all the problems that are coming, he can actually, he reminds me that actually we just need to keep pushing forward thing and, and having a bit of fun with it as well. 